Hey, it's your boy 30 Glizzy. Shout out DJ Torch, man. We Torch. My name is Brooke. I'm with Fly High TV, and I'm here interviewing. World famous DJ Torch from DC, Chili DJ on the planet. You know what it is. So I really just want to know about you and like DJing, and what really got you into DJing, and where are you from? Uh, well, I'm from Washington, D.C., Northeast. A lot of people know me around Northeast, you know what I mean, uptown. But I'm originally from Riggs Park area. Uh, There's a residential neighborhood on the Northeast side. That's where I grew up, you know what I mean? That's where I was outside. That's where I, you know what I mean, smoked my first gin at. That's where I slammed my first gin. All that, you know what I mean? <laughs> so uh, how old were you? Like 2000 and... and, and Oh, fast. So being from that area, like, what got you, what got you started into DJing? It got me started DJing. Like, I don't know. Like, I came home. Everybody wanted to be rappers. Like, it was like a 2010 wave. Like, all my men was rapping. Like, every single nigga I knew, you know what I mean, was around. They was rapping. So it was like, I wanted to rap too, but it was like, I'd rather do something different. So I found DJing, but. Before that, I, I had grabbed the nickname Torch, you know what I mean? Like, Torch came from me, from me, you know what I mean? I was just running around screaming that shit. I don't know where the fuck it came from. I just was screaming, gas, gas, So it's gas, a word that you made up. Yeah. So, like, if we Google it right now, like, yeah. what's, what's the definition of Torch? To me, at first it used to mean, like, before the DJ thing, it used to mean, like, High quality gas, like OG sour torch, you know what I mean? Because people were smoking huff, like derp, derp, you know what I mean? Like, so torch became like a, a high quality thing. Man. Then I was calling my food torch, like, play the good food, you know what I mean? Torch, you hear me? Like, like when I was doing my, my hosting mixtapes, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I was saying, like, on the best songs, like, that I felt like was the best songs, you know what I mean? So when you host a mixtape, what exactly goes into it? Like, are you picking the songs and everything like, like that? Like, it depends. If, if if I'm doing my own compilation, like, I started off with this mix, mixtape. My first mixtape compilation was Put This In Your Speakers, Volume 1. Uh, that was that was consistent. Everybody that was on that tape, everybody that was on that tape, I knew, like, personally. Like, it wasn't no wild niggas. It wasn't no niggas that reached out on the internet or nothing. You know what I mean? Like, these is like, the people that I was around, hanging with, dealing with. You know what I mean? All types of ways, you know what I mean? Going to malls, going shopping with, like, these niggas that I felt like I needed to push. Like, I got into DJing because I because I was pushing artists without being a DJ. Like, I was, like, just behind them, like, in their entourage, like, all types of shit like that. So, it was like, I made my own shit. So, now that's the type of stuff that you're making money off of? Of course, of course. I've been profitable since 2015. You know Can what you I mean? you teach me how to be a DJ? Like, I feel like I would make a torch. You know, a little mixtape or whatever. Is it called a mixtape? <laughs> what is it called? What, 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 you, what, what, you, what you make? Like, is it a mixtape? It's a combination. Oh, okay. Like, a combination okay. is it's like a mixture of music, of various artists, you know what I mean? But the thing that made my, my mixtapes unique, you know what I mean? The things that made it unique was like the fact that it was like the first of the DMV. Like all DMV rappers or all DC rappers or all Merlin rappers, you know what I mean? And majority of the rappers was from Uptown that I was actually putting on these tapes. So that's why everybody think I'm an Uptown rap, uh, DJ, you know what I mean? But I ended up spreading, like I got family every way, you know what I mean? My family ties way heavy, you know what I mean? In the city, because I'm really from DC. Like my, my mother's side is from DC and my father's side is from DC. You know what I mean? So it was like, once I started getting into it, and it was like, oh, people was like, oh, that's my little cousin. Because I'm, I'm like a baby of the family, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't, I ain't one of them older guys in your family. Like, you would be like, everybody knew. Like, so they was just like, oh, oh, he the baby. But my father was, he was the big homie in the family, you know what I mean? So it was like, it was like two different things. So did he inspire you to get into DJing? No, or? he ain't need help, you know what I mean? But that's even here or there, you know what I mean? So what really got you into it? Like motivated. Man, all the rappers that was around me, that was my men. Like they was pushing and shit. All you knew was new music. If you had it in your email, like what used to be popular back then, niggas ain't really was dropping music. You know what I mean? Nobody really had outlets. It wasn't no spellrella. It wasn't none of that. It was hard as shit to get on iTunes. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. like if you made it to iTunes, it was down there. You was an industry. Like, people looked at you an industry. Now anybody can get on iTunes. You know what I mean? But 
Like then it was like you need. So if you had nigga shit in your email and that shit sound good, like you was you was you know what I mean, you was in a loop. Mm-hmm. It was like a loop going on, you know what I mean? Like it was like a loop. And and I was getting all the exclusive music from this side, that side, this side, this side. So when I started dropping them tapes, like I was the only one with that type of music. So it was like torch. It was like, oh yeah, DJ Torch. So when I dropped that first, put this in your speakers. After that, the streets wanted more. They like, shit, you got to keep this shit going. We fucking with this shit. You know what I mean? Like, like, because it was like, ain't nobody had no brand of music to so go like to. So when you DJ, isn't it like, what's that thing nah, I didn't that? even start off like wicked, wicked DJing. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, I, I didn't start off like that. Like, I didn't even, I wasn't even into that shit. You know what I mean? Like. I had DJ friends from, from like school and that shit they used to do. Because I used to throw parties at, at college, you know what I mean? I went to John C. Smith down Charlotte. I used to throw parties and everybody used to be in my house, my crib, you know what I mean? Party and having it up, you know what I mean? So I, I used to just reach out to them, man. I'm trying to do this DJ shit, man. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I know I'm talking on these tracks. I got these hot ass tracks, man. What's up? I'm going to push them. They like send it over. So I was just sending shit out to like Charlotte. Atlanta, you know what I mean? Florida, like different places. So I'm actually helping the up and coming artists that I'm around every day get more exposure in different places. Not only that, we was taking trips. Like it wasn't like I was just hit. So like now you're holding like these social events um, where you pick like the best artists. Is that you who's picking the artists or is it the people? Right now, uh, I used to do that uh, for the artist social uh, when I used to do it up Sedona and Uptown. Shout out uh, Sedona and Lounge, you know what I mean? But Right now, like, we going by, you got to sign up because we giving away mm-hmm. opportunities to, to either make some money, to either better your craft by getting you some stew time, getting you a um, party on Sunday no more. At first, I used to be at Dirty Martinez all, all the time, but I don't do no party on Sundays no more. I keep Sundays holy. But Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all them other days, I'm lit, I'm tortured. You know what I mean? I'm doing whatever I want to do, you know what I mean? I ain't I ain't breaking no laws, though. That's for the camera. But, yeah. <laughs> for real. It's lit. Alright, well, lit. thank you so much for letting me interview you. And... Do you have anything else that you would like to say? Man, shout out Fly Zone Studios for letting me fly high. You know what I mean? Fly high TV. I'm logged in. I'm logged out. Man, DJ motherfucking Torch, man. Go check out all my spin writers. Follow me on Instagram. World famous DJ Torch. Uh, Torch Entertainment Merchandise. Man, somebody hacked my Torch Entertainment DC page, but I'm going to get it back. You know what I mean? Get it right back. You know what I mean? So, yeah, thank you for having me. You know what I mean? And... I wish I could have told you so much more like about my projects and stuff, but you know what I mean? They just gonna have to tune in and search and search and search and search some more, you know what I mean? I'm right here in the beach of Columbia, man. Trinity DJ. Hey, hey, DJ Torch, what it do? What's the big fat? DJ Torch, you already know what it is. Oi, 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 it's just Paul, and you are now rocking with the world famous DJ Torch.